Hi guys. Here. Hey. Hi Emma. Hi, how's it going? Why are you carrying everything red in the office? Because we're here to review red, so I thought I would wear red. And then I didn't think I took it far enough, so I gathered around everything in the office that I could find that was red. Ha, ha, ha. Uh, you missed one thing that's red, by the way. What? My shoes. Ooh! Um, so we're actually here to do a review of Red, an extended review of Red. We are indeed. Uh, we saw the final performance of Red at the Jam Jar, which is a slightly different setup also. So what did you think overall of this? I thought it was a great performance. Really enjoyed myself, and I thought it was very well put together. I have to agree, I thought it was actually quite a good performance, um, and really kind of raised the bar on uh, what we can kind of expect in terms of theatre and the arts here. Because, Absolutely, yeah, in the yeah. UAE very much, I was very impressed by the yeah. performances and the whole production that overall. That is to suggest that we have to rate things at a lower bar in the UAE because there are plenty of great performances going on, it's just that this is definitely one that brought in a level of professionalism in a very different way that we haven't seen um, in a while, in, in some time and, and as often mm -hmm. as I would like to. Um, it was integrated very well into the jam jar, and I thought overall most aspects of it were good. Uh, very good, actually, um, and somewhat even exceptional in some ways. Um, but I do want to highlight, I mean, I really wish I'd actually seen it at the junction so I could compare yes. the venues, because the jam jar, I mean, it was set up exactly how yeah. Mark Rothko had his studio in, in New York um, when he was painting, so you really did feel that you were sort of submerged a little bit closer to the action than I think you would very be if close. you were in a very in a, in a normal theatre. But you found something distracting about the. Oh God. Okay, so just moving into stagecraft. Mm -hmm. Just oh God, the floor. Look, I found that almost everything was integrated very well for the jam jar. Um, almost everything, and in fact, um, the uh, overall, I think the management must have worked very, very well. Um, with this piece. They they really did a lot to bring this piece to life. They obviously integrated it in every way. They boarded up the windows. Mm -hmm. They they allowed for the, you know, the, the use of the space in such a way that really lent to the production overall. But the floor was covered in a plastic sheet and it killed me. It annoyed the living hell out of me because all I heard when the actors were moving around was a <laughs> Stagecraft, I thought pretty much everything was good. Uh, Set-wise, it did really feel like the space, except for a few things, the plastic floor, and then there was a plastic jar that came out at one time, and then there was an extension reel that was there in the background. But everything else was of the time and the place, and the reason I'm focusing on that detail is because everything else was of the time and the place. It was such a level of detail that I was starting to pick up the things that weren't in that same level of detail. And it was a was, visually stunning set. It was very nicely mm -hmm. done, and the lights complemented it quite well. Um, it was a very nice use of only four park hands um, at two 90 degree angles, which is pretty exceptionally well done considering usually that's not good lighting. Mm -hmm. But in this case, it works really well for the setting and it worked in the right kind of glow and atmosphere, the right kind of amber feel. Um, and the cues were all on, they were all spot on, and I felt that that was, um, for the most part, they were all spot on. Uh, blocking. Um, blocking, yes, this yeah. is one of the issues I that I that. had. The way it's set up, you've got your audience at a 90 degree angle, and this did mean that a few times one of the actors put their back towards me, which for me in the theatre is a big no-no. I think if you just cheated it out a little bit, I could have seen your face and your performance. It happened a few times and I, I, yeah. that was not good for me. 95% of the time I would agree, and I'd actually say even like up to 98% of the time you just don't turn your back to the audience. Yeah. I mean, you, you can deliver part of the line with your back there as long as you still have the focus. You know, you, you turn your back sometimes, but in this one case, I f it felt purposeful to me and I wasn't bothered by it. It bothered me. I mean, I think, you know, we, we can all find out, you know, who Mark Rothko was, what happened yeah. at the end of his life. I think and maybe this is a comment on the script or the acting or the direction. I just think it it needed to be more of a, a glimpse into his personal side as to why he made all these interesting professional mm. choices. And I just think a lot of it is down to passion and I just would have liked to have seen. There were some very in-depth dark lines I just think could have been made more of. Yeah. And also the pacing as well. I found it all very uh, on, on the same. It was length. very methodically placed, yes. but paced. But um, and when you've only got two actors on screen, yeah. there has to be something stage. that takes. Sorry, on on stage, on stage. When you've got two actors yeah. on the stage, I think it's very important that you 
there's a little bit of yeah. up and down just to keep the audience interested. And I, I don't know if it was because the energy level was down that night um, because I did feel like it probably would have been a bit more, um, or if it was just consistently that through the whole performance. But I have to agree, it was it was very kind of level in the pace. It was still gripping, and it still is rated overall very mm -hmm. well by me. And we are being awfully kind of, I'm not going to say cynical, it's not cynical at all, but we're, we're expressing what is true about this. Yeah, I absolutely. I mean, but it's, yeah, there were definitely a lot of times where I was sitting there going, what about a little change here? Mm -hmm. um, intensity did also, get there, but the pace didn't change with that intensity. Mm, you know what I mean? True. My rating for this one, mm -hmm. um, I am torn between a one and a two hump camel here. Um, I do. I do see the aspects of a two hump camel, and I'll explain the system after. <laughs> it's, some of you are new to the system. Yes. Um, but I do think that there are other things that could have brought more to it. I do think it was an absolutely phenomenal piece for the most part, but um, on a you know a rating system where two is the you know two is means you as a must absolute go. Mm -hmm. um, I do think that most theater audiences here should go, um, but I do have to say there were some things that could have been done better. Um, or could have brought more to it, maybe not better, but could have brought more to it. an already good piece, mm -hmm. could have elevated it even further. So I'm I'm gonna go with one hump plus a tumor on top of We're the... adding tumors to our rating now? No, we're not, but I just I'm torn and yeah. What about you? I I thoroughly enjoyed my night out. I thought it was visually stunning. Um, both actors were engaging, their performances were great. I'm gonna give it one hump. Which means basically if it does come on again, which I hope it does, yeah. you should definitely go and see it. Okay, that's a good place to end this particular review. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Tell us if you agree, if you don't agree, um, if you if you want to comment on what you think we're wrong about, what we're right about. Please do, we would love to hear. We want to hear it. So comment below, subscribe, like, dislike, hate us. Um, we're not going away. Hate us if you want.